Hey, what's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. This is early morning. I don't know when I'm gonna drop this video, but it gotta be said. I sat back. I watch a lot of you motherfuckers make videos about EBE bands. I watch niggas make misconception, bullshit, false information. Um, that lame nigga from Atlanta, Walkie Media, Walkie News. You know his whole platform is about um in, 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 inquiries. You know basically fake um news and stuff. That's his whole sketch. And people followed that, saying it was FBG Duck who killed EBE bands. Little Reese, cause they had me. I mean, niggas was coming out the woodwork with some of the most bullshit, like shit that don't even go together. And that's why I don't even watch comment sections in certain videos. I don't watch. Like, I see any nigga talking street talks, and you can you can see the the bitch in their face. You can smell the 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 breast milk in their mouth. I'm not watching your YouTube video talk about street life shit. Some shit you don't even know. I seen corny ass niggas that ain't even from the hood. I ain't trying to be mean to my family, but I see a lot of white boys who ain't never came out and did a video to support EBE bands. Maybe because he hanging with a lot of niggas. Now these white boys want to become philosophers. I know EBE band. I don't know that bitch ass white dude name, but it's a bitch ass white dude that's running around doing videos everywhere like he knew EBE bands he knows Chicago and, and at least even though I don't like Chicago World News at least Chicago World News knows the in and outs he he's brave enough to go to the city he from the city man some of you white boys is it, funny now oh I know about EBE bands just four or five months ago some of you bitch ass niggas didn't even know who EBE bands was now you niggas is some philosophers oh I know the nigga now or some shit nah bro Yo, cornball nigga. Then there's a black nigga called Kush TV or some shit like that. Nigga got like 80 subscribers or 100 subscribers. This crackhead ass nigga smoking a Newport every damn 20 seconds. Like this nigga being interrogated by the fucking camera. My nigga, if you don't. If you got nervousness, shyness, anxiety, get the fuck off YouTube, my nigga. You smoke like eight Newports in fucking one minute, bro. You worse than some of my partners I was with in Job Corps with, smoking every damn ten cent. Bro, you worse, bro. Niggas acting like they know EBE bands. I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all about the EBN situation. That nigga probably dead, but at the same time, let's break it down why he's probably dead. I personally feel this nigga ain't on the run. I'm going to talk about why he's dead and why the leading up, but let's, because number one, your boy got drops and real receipts. But all we're gonna do right now is focus on the levels of why he wouldn't run away. First of all, his mom said that EBE bands ain't never got to her, ain't never wrote. Number one, moms can lie for kids. Mom can know what's going on. The kid could have hit up the mom earlier from different numbers that didn't even trace, maybe at an auntie house, but not to her house. You know, different ways you can recross certain frequencies so these people these johns don't follow you and when i say johns i ain't talking about a trick i'm talking about them boys out there y'all know who i'm talking about they won't follow you so any mother can lie for her son and get his safety oh yeah i never heard from him yet but in this situation y'all i'm sorry to hurt y'all there's like three videos online i didn't edit this video but i'm gonna do an edit video to show y'all proof there's, and maybe I'll put in the description for y'all. There's a video where that lady's hurting for real. That lady ain't lying. She ain't spoke to her son. That nigga got two cousins from the south side and one from the west side. You know, a little bit suburbs or whatever. The 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 the, the non-violent cousin in the west side was the main one breaking down. Then you had two cousins from the south side the other day breaking it down how they dined without one of their best friends, which is EBE bands. Like, that shit do not look like no fucking, oh, we doing it for cloud. Then I'm about to break it down. Shouts out to 1212 Entertainment. Y'all know I don't pick no size in Chicago. I fuck with everybody. 1212 Baby was showing love. I remember the one of his homies I was in a wheelchair. I forgot what, um, he, his name was 1212 something else too, but they all showed me love in the video I did talking about I want to see him walk again because he was trying to walk. Not 1212 Baby, but his partner. And I had a cool relationship with them since then. So I was just checking out to see what's going on. I knew he fought with EBE bands. I checked the nigga's IG situation 
and 12 12 baby is crying and shit nigga pouring his eye out he made me remember me and my homies when we had a friend that died and we cry like that Nigga, we looking for revenge or some shit like that. That shit ain't no, oh, this is a publicity stunt. I'm about to be on some Denzel Washington acting shit and cry. Nah, bro. I hate to hurt a lot of you niggas feeling. And notice the sincerity I'm trying to break this news down. Because I know this nigga family is listening. Friends. I'm not like some of these lame-ass bloggers. They just jump the gun. And these... 90% of them ain't even monetized, but oh, this happened. Oh, that happened. Oh, I'm about to get on YouTube with this story. Listen, YouTube goes up and down. You may seem like you popping right now because you broke a story. As soon as that story dies down, you better be fucking entertaining or the people ain't gonna fuck with your videos no more. Facts. But let's get back on the 1212 Entertainment is crying. You got um Arolis. I'm not gonna tell y'all who that is. Arolis is basically in there. Showing off this nigga chains, EBE chains. Um, I'm saying Orolis because that's not the nigga's real name. I ain't no snitch like a lot of you niggas. I'm not doing the police work. I'm sorry if you EBN's family. These motherfuckers, police and detectives and FBI's are public paid servants. You niggas never let them do their job. You niggas just all on IG snitching on yourselves. These niggas don't even work no more. They don't. They don't eat donuts no more. They eating full course meals for their breaks now. These niggas don't drink coffee and donuts no more. They're eating full course meat for their breaks now because you whole ass niggas on Instagram solving all the crimes. You whole ass niggas on YouTube solving all the crimes. You whole ass, whole ass niggas on Snapchat. Do niggas even still use Snapchat? Anyways, EBE bags. Now we gonna break it down to if homie is dead, why he got killed. Look, when you from the streets, man, and you in politics, it could be a hundred million things. Let's break it down to the girl he pointed the gun at. Some people might say that wasn't a big enough situation for him to be involved in that, for, for her family to do anything to him because he apologized several times and this and that. Well, this ain't no family television show. I hate to break y'all feelings. If you, the code of the streets is, I don't care where y'all from, if you pull out a heater, you better fucking use that heater, period. Ain't no... This and that, like where I'm from is, there's been a lot of dudes who pulled out that thing on us when we were younger. And I felt like that certain person gave a sincere apology. They didn't mean it like that. But the homie still stumped the shit out of this dude. And the dude is lucky they ain't even do something to him that I don't want to say on the fucking camera because of YouTube algorithm. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas don't play about that. You put in, you take, because if, if y'all don't know, it's EBE bands, allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly because I, I, I don't trust words of cops like you people do. Everybody could be lying about something. And that story, for all we know, probably didn't even fucking happen. But allegedly, the story is an EBE bands apartment complex by his area. He was with one of his uncles and peeps, and there was a chick walking. It was a dyke girl walking, and she was with one of her girls, I guess her girlfriend. And EBE Ban seen a bad little baddie. He tried to holler at her, and the dyke got offensive. So EBE has pulled out that guap. Well, I don't want to say it don't make sense because we don't know what the female was. From what I heard, them females in Chirac is savages. So maybe he pulled it out knowing that she might be talking to. Shouts out to ER. But, anyways, he pulled out the heater, and when he got confused and realized she was a female and a little girl at like that. He was like, fuck it. And that's the thing I don't understand. A lot of these families is like, they don't play about these people. And her being young like that, somebody in her family could have been like, fuck that. But guess what? The severity of the situation ain't making sense. Y'all can go with, oh, it's the girl and the family, the alleged situation he was in. He went on the run, and if he's dead, it's her family who did it. Uh, I can see why y'all looking at that way, because people don't play about their family. But the severity of that situation ain't enough. I can see maybe if he got killed right there on the spot in his apartment. That, that would have made sense. Maybe if he got beat into a coma. Maybe if he got beat and he paralyzed now. You know, some shit head cracked open, jog up broken. That would make sense for that situation. Even death would make sense. But a kidnapping and your body ain't even found. They just threw your body somewhere else because you point a gun at the sister who's a dyke who y'all thought was a dude. That's doing extra. A nigga would just kill you. He ain't gonna do the whole nine yards for something involving all that. Why he need to hide your body and all that if he just need to off you? Unless 
you a nigga or a female that's close to EB Bands. All I'm gonna say is, shout out to GMBE family. But last time I checked, GMBE family was not seen eye to eye with EBE Bands. Y'all want me to forget that? I'm a Chicago head, meaning that I follow their music. Y'all niggas follow their music till one of them get killed. I'm the type of niggas that write one of their family members. I've done this from both sides, from LA Capone and them, all the way to from JoJo, all the way from even Brick's family. Shouts out to FBG. I write these. I'm not a bitch ass DJ academics. You ain't never gave none of them mothers flowers. Off the strength of your platform, I don't care if y'all say academics had nothing to do with it. Yes, he has. He motivated a lot of these. You might as well call it premeditated murder. This bitch ass nigga academics ain't never took a flower to give it to one of these mothers. And y'all come at a nigga like me. No, I ain't like that. I actually care about the Chicago people. And last time I checked, GMBE, family, whatever you want to call them, them boys was hating on um, bands. They was hating on him. All the way from um, JP Armani. He was like, he ain't, he ain't a real member in the group. He a fake stone. I remember all them words. Look, we're gonna, I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to take some of the words I've said in this video, but I'm going to add more enhancing with receipts. We're going to bring receipts. Nigga, you did not like him. I'm not saying they got to be the one who killed bands. You niggas hated that nigga. Facts. And last time I checked, the disturbing situation involving it is where his chain has been missing all his his jewelry is missing money missing gun collection missing his whole home was ransacked i'm sorry y'all that ain't no random shit that gotta be somebody that know you bro that seemed like a stage bullshit and not even really stage at that nigga did what they had to do and cleared the fuck out and it might not be his home team but damn you ain't gonna tell me to feel sorry for his home team these niggas got videos out De Niro got a video out right now. Allo tried to do a live. I'm glad that people called him out. Nigga, you clout, you clout chasing off of Bands' name. Yeah, you might have not been the one who killed Bands, but my nigga, you clout chasing off your homie's death that never was your homie that you said was never your homie. You called him fake. You niggas is hoes in real life. I don't want no nigga to do that for me. If we don't fuck with each other in real life, please don't start crying for me all in the videos talking about how close we was. Don't do that. Keep that same energy when I'm dead, my nigga. I'm going to say that again. If you one of these whole niggas I ain't rock with no more, I don't care if we used to grow up with no more. If we ain't cool no more, I don't rock with you. You ain't never cared about me while I was alive in this world, in this world living and breathing. Don't fucking come around me with that fake ass energy. Keep that same goddamn energy. Facts. EBE bands, fake ass team showing some love and this and that. Then your manager, oh, I've always had connections to his Instagram. You niggas could believe that dumb shit if you want to. Bands seem like an intelligent nigga. He don't seem like one of these slow Yao Ming 6 9 niggas. Oh, everybody just using the white kid or the Spanish kid to get money. He don't seem dumb like that at all, y'all. And even if he was, he seems intelligent enough not to let no grown-ass man run him around and running his Instagram. Why does he need his manager to have his Instagram? You niggas ain't never said two on two. If you see what type of Instagram tweets this nigga fucking bands be coming out of his Instagram, he doesn't need somebody to control his Instagram. He has certain information he be doing on his Instagram that could get him indicted. You think these are the type of Instagrams that have your manager and family controlling or like regular artist type Instagram? EVE Bands Instagram was a personal and an artist used Instagram platform. No, my nigga. It's a lot of fishy things in there and I'm pointing you niggas to the right light and then think about it. When you got a member of a family or a team getting more light than the other members, you are gonna start seeing crab in the bucket barrel mentalities coming out. Notice. I didn't say no names who did what, but I am alluding to it. So if y'all seen, or you trying to say them boys did it, I'm trying to say everybody and their mama could have done it. Because the people that y'all cleaning their hands and acting like they victims is laughable. Allo, De Niro, it's, it, De Niro, how you got a music video out and your homeboy missing? Where's the love? Where the trust at? In the words of Meek Mill, you niggas is fake as fuck. And if y'all didn't kill bands, y'all still fake as fuck to keep it real. My nigga, stand on your square and be that so-called killer or soldier or warrior you is. I don't want to see you with that fake ass energy every single second y'all niggas saying bands name. But where was bands name a week ago, two weeks ago? Where was you whole ass niggas? Well, I, don't, I apologize for you whole ass niggas. I'm going to say you fake ass niggas. Where was you fake ass niggas doing all this? Man, I'm your God-blessed one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. 
I hate to hurt y'all feelings, but EBE bands ain't coming home, and I wish that young man well because I ain't never wished bad for him.